John Ernie. And John is a great athlete, and he represents our what we would call category five style player, where his ball speed dominates his rep rate. And what we're seeing in the game of bowling is your, your more traditional style players, more like the stand, back before John learned to bowl, it was back with rubber, plastic balls, back before reactive resin became popular, those bowlers didn't stand up against the far side of the ball return and loop the lane. So he has traditionally been more of a player that stood to the further on the right on the approach. Very accurate and gets his power and his adjustments by varying his speed. Probably doesn't move his speed a lot. His strengths are when the lanes are drier and his strengths are when he can stand further to the right on the approach. His weaknesses would be extremely heavy oil or when the environment pushes him to the further left on the approach. So what we're going to do with John, John does not need a four ball arsenal. All right, because, because he's a number five player, he doesn't need dry lane balls. His speed will conquer the dry lanes. He loves them when they're dry. Okay, so he's got two balls. So what we want to do, John, is which ball would you use or do you know what ball you would use if the lanes were more oil or less oil? I can use this one for more oil. Okay, so this is heavy oil lane condition ball. All right? And then, do you know what surface is on? No. Okay, he doesn't know. And that's, that's, that's fine. He relies on the pro shop guy to set his bowling balls up for him. But what we want to do now that we have a ball spinner, we need to put a surface on it and one that will work for us. Okay? So then this one would be his dryer lane ball. And probably you're not aware of what surface is on that as well. Right? Okay. All right. So we got heavy oil. And then we have his dryer lane. We have a two ball arsenal for John. His gladiator is the ball that gives him the most amount of hook on an oily lane condition. All right, because he only has two balls and he's a number five category player. I don't even need to worry about a dry lane ball for John. He never has problems on the drop. So if I'm looking at his arsenal and I want to give him as much as I could give him. I need to take his gladiator, which is his heavy oil ball, and I need to put it in the heavy oil category. Then I want to take his next ball to give him as much range as I can give him, I would put that in the medium dry category. Alright, so number five player, if we go to if we go to heavy oil, 320 or 400 grit is what our option is. So let's do 320 for him. So we'll go gladiator. point out some stuff here. This ball spinner is one that we sell to uh, pro shops. It's got the aluminum base. This is before the product launch, so we don't have all the pieces ready yet. But this bowl, that, that, this is the bowl that you're going to get on your ball spinner. There is a lot of engineering that went into this thing. This is what separates us from other uh, ball spinners on the market. Our bowl is actually wider, a little bit, but it's not too wide. 
because if it's too wide, you need to be able to get your hand below the equator of the ball and just underneath them. If the ball is narrower, the ball sits up higher and it makes it more unstable. If it sets too low, you can't get to the equator of the ball. This is the perfect setup for this ball spin. It gives you the maximum stability that lets you get below the equator of the ball. That way you can do it in two moves. And now, he's a number five player. If we go to the medium dry, it says gray pad or a thousand grip. All right? That's our options. So let's go with gray pad. Now both of these surfaces, John doesn't need polish on a bowling ball because he's a number five player. His ball speed dominates his rep rate. So the lane's never long enough for John. Because his ball speed dominates his rev rate, the pin, it's like the pins are too close to him. We need to get his, a lot of surface on his ball to make the ball slow down and get around the corner on the back end. If you polish a bowling ball for John, his ball never has a chance to react. Okay, now we'll flip it over. Okay, John is now rolling the balls after we put the, the surfaces that I picked, which was 320 on the gladiator, and his storm ball we put gray paddle. Okay? And he's out warming up again, pulling the typical house shot that's been bowled on now, it's getting fried out a little bit. And he's trying to get himself comfortable to figure out what ball rolls best for him on this thing. Storm ball with gray pad, correct? Right. Okay. Now, what I'd like you to do is switch to your gladiator, stand the same place, because that ball came in light. And what you're going to find with a number five player is they're not going to be moving their feet 10 and 15 boards between their arsenal of balls. It may only be one or two, and John's very good at making his adjustments with speed control. To roll one a little faster or a little slower. That ball, even though he got ripped off there with a solid eight, that ball slowed down closer to him and started to turn the corner, which is exactly what we predicted would happen because his gladiator has 320. So I set his gladiator up for heavier wood. Now, what I want to do, John, I want to move you over here to our typical house shot with more oil and see what, what, would, you, what would be your favorite ball in this one. Okay, he likes the gladiator. Let's move him over to five and six. Nice. Now, if you notice the difference between his shot on lane four and his shot on lane six, lane four, that same ball, slowed down close to him and really went around the corner because the lanes were dry. On the oil, what happened was it gave him a, a more smoother, even arcing, but that ball rolled really nice for him on this thing. So even though we're on heavy oil, and he's a number five player, we can dump him in really nice. See, as I say, he doesn't like oil. Well, he, right, well, you, may, you may tell us you do, but your style does not match up nearly as well on heavy oil is what it does on a dry lane. He likes it on dry. So on heavy oil, he needs to go to his gladiator with 320. It should give him a better look than his storm ball with the gray pack. Very good. And if you notice, I had an option when I looked at his heavy oil ball, because he was a number five player, I said 320 or 400, I went with the 320. That's just from doing bowling balls for so long for people. I knew we need to give him all the help we can give him, surface-wise, on heavy oil. Nice.
Now let's uh, reset and get a full round. And let's roll your ball that I have set up for a medium high main position and see what the change in reaction is. definitely traveled further down the lane before it started to Yeah, that right that ball did not look or did not react as much as your black, correct? So what I've done for you, John, is that what you you have a two ball arsenal, when you're on heavy oil, which ball are you gonna go to? Gladiator. When you get on a on a more hokey lane condition, what ball? The storm. Perfect. So it's absolutely predictable. And the difference now is he knows exactly what ball to roll or what lane condition and why, right? Okay, perfect. Yeah. Now, as a pro shop operator, when you're dealing with a number five player, there's really no reason for you to go into the pro shop and buy a ball for a dry lane ball. I mean, what we would typically call a dry lane ball, because you'd probably never bowl it. You'd be spending money for a ball that's going to sit in your bag, never going to come out. Right? So, there's, so when we're matching up a number five player, we're going to lean toward heavy oil balls. When we sell you balls, heavy oil and medium heavy oil balls. Otherwise, you're just putting money into the pro shop and you're never going to get it out of your bag. And that's, that's really not doing you that good service. When we dealt with Jared Hoff, Corey Moore, those guys, very rare that we'd ever sell them a ball for heavy, heavy oil. Because their, their rev rate to their ball speed, because their rev rate is, is dominates their ball speed slightly, they don't need heavy oil balls. Because their style handles that better. They need balls for drier lane conditions. Those balls, you sell them a heavy oil ball, they almost never pull it out of their bag. So it just works the, the, the scale in the other direction. That's all. So it's important to know what style of player you are, to know what type of balls to buy and what surface to put on. Okay? So now when you work this system, and I don't know who you are, and I don't know what style of player you are, you have to work this system by using this DVD, use the manual, Determine what type of player you are, and it will help you when you go into pro shop. You'll look at your arsenal, and you'll know where the holes are. Much like you're adding uh, golf clubs to a golf bag. It's a great analogy. You'll know what ball to use on heavy oil, what ball to use on a dry lane, and you'll know when you look at your arsenal, what ball do I need to go back when I'm ready to buy a ball, what ball should I go buy to conquer what type of lane condition. Right? These ball companies do a great job. They, every company out there has a ball suitable for your style on any lane condition. The trick is make sure you pick the right one. Right. You know? So your brand oil, great. I don't, I don't care what brand it is. Be brand oil if you want to. Move from brand to brand, but you need to tell your pro shop operator that, say you're a number five player, hey, my ball speed dominates my rev rate. I need something for a heavy oil lane condition, and then they can help you pick the right ball for you. Okay? Thank you, John. Appreciate it.